Hello everybody and welcome back to the Witcher 3, the Wild Hunt, where last episode, well, we dived for the Black Pearl, uh, trying to find our way in some oysters that trying to find it there. And we did, and now we also find the Pearl Divers on the other side. I'm not really sure why the Pearl Divers were diving for Pearl on the other side from where the most rarest of Pearl, the Black Pearl, were, but yeah. I mean, they were loading corpses and everything like that, but... Yeah, they told us about a place where the stone stone might be, but... Oh. Yeah, okay, so Felipe is not coming with us now, and we're asking Jennifer to come with us so we can help here getting the sunstone. We need some magic, right? If I remember right. Oh. Siri says there's a site in Skellige we must examine. Avalach's clearly hiding something from us. Earlier, when we were in the Isles together, Avalach mentioned a laboratory. At oh? one point, he wished to teleport there, to retrieve something, and he refused to take me with him. It was all very strange. Sufficiently suspicious, don't you think? I feel a little bit like they're making too much of it, but on the other side, in this, this is a game, so... Yeah, sufficiently. So what? Wanna just sneak in and root around? Exactly. Coming with? Surely. Oh, it's going through the mast again. Where is it? On a small isle between Undvik and Spikarog. Not exactly on our way. Just found out the sunstones on Ard Skellig. Cavern along the coast that we can only access from the sea. She what? She's but going for the sunstone! Magic to get in, too. Go find this laboratory. I'll explore Ard Skellig. You can join me later. Okay, she at least told Philippa, us about it. Your eyesight. Only just recovered and magically simulated. Didn't you say you'd need some time to get accustomed? Did I? She lied. She just didn't want to go there. Okay. But she's right after the sunstone. I'd forgotten how irritating she can be. Come, Siri. Please save me with the portal, please! You're all run off the we'll joint! No! Why await me there? I just want to be teleported. Why, Gerald? Why do you have teleportation so much? I don't want to travel. So, I guess we could talk also here with him, because you showed him, right? I mean, that seemed pretty logical, like, yeah. I have, like... Yes, Gerald. How's Margarita? Who's Margarita? Who is she? Is it a drink? Soon Sir won't need your help anymore. Charming this word of Alana. Tell me about him. Why are you helping Sari? He has his own reasons, probably so, so long. long. So nothing there, you can't help me anything. Now where the <laughs> is this place I'm supposed to go to? Oh Thank God. Thank God they gave me a signpost. Otherwise I would have been freaking pissed so far away as it was. I mean, I already freaked out her that I didn't want to take me with them in their magical portal just because the arrow is a little pussy, is so scared of portals. The big bad witcher wolf is scared of portals. No stupid thing, whatever, so you can just prolong your game, right? Uh, probably comes up in the books also there before even of the game. Like, yeah, he doesn't like portals. So he can travel and have all these amazing adventures. Well, I still can fast travel here. And apparently there's a smuggler's cachet over there. I discovered somewhere along the way. Okay, over there. To Paligap Coast. The Paligap Coast. Hmm. What ought to be there? Is this the cavern we're looking for? It seems that way. Sorry, Jennifer. Oh, it's red. What's that light come from? Is it that fire, really? I don't feel like it would give that red light. Something interesting inside. How like what? The barrier. Atlan Kirk's inclusion should do the trick. Remember the spell? I remember you teaching me. And to think I thought you an overbearing cold shrew at the time. <laughs> now, now. This is no time to get soppy. Yeah. But you're right, Sarah. She is. So, That's why you taught it. Any incriminating letters? Closets full of skeletons? You've not even opened the door yet. It's a highly complex magic barrier. Let's try. Yata Ligon! 
Is it open? Wait for it. Someone coming behind? Yep, of course. I thought something like that might happen. Is it an arc? Oh, it's another one down. No, okay. Only one at a time. Thanks for that, at least. That's very sweet of your game. And we seem to barely do any damage. Luckily it isn't a fire golem at least, so he is immune to the fire that I spent so long time trying to just make stronger and stronger. Maybe I should have just gone for some sword fighting abilities like I did in the second game, you know, the first I played. I sometimes call it the first because I'm like, yeah, that's the first I played. And damn, you're kicking my ass into the corner now. Okay, remember, dodge out of the way of this attack. Whenever I can. So, as soon as we may defeat this one, I guess we have to face another one. Damn you! Sorry, out of the way! You can't block me now! I'm not time to babysit you! I know you see me as a father's figure, but still! This isn't the time or the place, okay? Oh. Wait, he? he has a hole in his chest, really? And he's still alive, somehow. I mean, it's just an animated object, a golem. So... No, to be exact. Acceptable, but still. Still a little bit like that. Wait, I learned about golems before. I've heard fire golems. Philippa had a fire golem. Protecting her place. Really? That one's not gonna wake up? Oh. The door, the door is open. No, not the blower. What is a blower even? Pretty cozy. Doesn't look much like a lab at all. Maybe it's his that love them. Nothing. We must look around. He probably just call it a laboratory a to low, be able it? to go there, but this Rummaging is his personal tree. stuff. You wish to come, my dear. Portrait of Siri, I think. No, that's not me. Where's the scar? It's definitely you. Hm. Really captured you. Sure, Avalok's only interested in you for your magic abilities. I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> Very funny. That door. What if it's another of her? You know, that kind of story, like... Because she's there with the timeline, maybe there's... Time and space, maybe there's another one of her. Look, that they captured and that died. Or something, and he was in love with that one. I'm just making up here, I have no idea why. Sure. Jennifer, what did you see? Is it some it fine wine for you and me? Just here. An assistant, maybe? I don't believe in an assistant. I believe rather than Philippa, because she have made golems before. I'm like on the ship. We know that. I but maybe he can teleport ship. straight into it. What if he's not? Stop. Hmm. A distillate? Smells like... Verbena. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha uh -huh what? No, nothing. Sometimes you really get on my nerves, you know. Herbs. Not very incriminating. Wait, we've not examined the entire laboratory yet. Yeah, will I discover something else now? Like, yeah, now we know this person was here. Come on, with your senses, don't fail me now. What do we see? That's not really glowing. That's where we came from, but let's check the rest of the laboratory. Like this very important sack containing alchemy past and not some balls. <laughs> Didn't know he had a sweet tooth. Oh, sweet. Maybe I made a Siri clone! Wait, why? I, I'm not sure why, but that's something that hit me. I feel like I've walked into somebody's bedroom. Yeah, this seems very private. I told you that before. Although that would be something there, a Siri clone making self-portraits. Why would you make self-portraits? Let's a glyph of arch, I think. Let's loot it all. Um, oh! Why the cutscene here? I wanted to check out the red yeah. stuff and loot everything else. Yeah, that's a family tree, right? Is it? Does she look exactly like the first one of the Elder Blood? Is that it? And he was in love with her? I know it's the younger, much younger Siri. The logical chart of the Enhani Care, the Elder Blood, from Laura Doran. To me. 
You never showed me the full version. I had no idea Viedmont of Eden was an ancestor. Who's Viedmont of Eden? Was he Eden? the one who punished his daughters with a hot iron? Or the one who had his own father's eyes gouged out? Oh. Him of the daughters. My, even I'd never seen the full version. Seems Avalark has analyzed all the paths of Lara's gene, even those we thought extinct. Had enough of... Well, let's look at his notes! No. First, only analyzed? Really? He's only analyzing? Really believe that? If he's anything like our mages, I seriously doubt he's standing back and observing how Laura's descendants are doing. I don't think we'll ever know if or how deeply the elves have meddled in the gene's mutation. Did you have a hand in... in what Geralt mentioned? The work of those human mages? Of course not. Oh... She clearly didn't see her eye, I wonder how she looked! I can read you, Jennifer. I can read you like an open book. I think so, at least. Maybe there's something back telling like, Yes, she did it, but I have actually no idea. Only her expression that says she did it. Let's look at his notes. I want to know more. Notes. Oh, and she's... God, he spent over two centuries on this. He was the first to study Lara's gene. Volker? Hmm. Some entries about Siri, but it's here later that things get interesting. He actually tried to cultivate a genetic mix like Siri's, but one excluding the human line. Meaning what exactly? That I ought to be looking about for giant jars holding my siblings? Don't be foolish. Avalach never got that far. Apparently all his experiments ended in failure. You are unique. And that's why we've the wild hunt to contend with. Let's ferret on. See if we can't find something even more interesting. Okay, so there won't be a clone of Sere, but he was trying to do it anyway. He just tried to make an elven clone of her. Is it really a clone then? Yeah, an elven sibling of her. So where was that red stuff we saw here? Okay, first let loot, I told you. Not just extinguish the fire. I'm certain when we came down the stairs, there was something red over there. It's glowing light. Yeah, there! Behind the corner it was. Someone but first, let's look. The there is? Really? So. Hmm. Elves sure know their fragrances. Hmm. Mirror standard. Might have expected a hidden portal. Yeah, but... It's all pointing that a female lived her here. I feel like one of them was a success, and we have a... Theme, uh, Elven Seri, that have no scar, otherwise look like her, but doesn't have the power and offer worthless to the real important stuff or something. Can I? Let's see what Avalok's really planning. Oh, I could go through. It just didn't seem that way. Oh. Well, maybe she doesn't look so much like Seri. She's brunette to start with. How did you get in here? We mean no harm. We mean you no harm. Don't go forward I care not at all that. why you're here. Get out. You. I remember you. From Tirnalia. Remarkable. I thought all elves looked alike to those of your race. If it's Avalach you seek, he's not here. I know. And yet you come here. What for? To spy on him. He tries his damnness to save you every time you do something stupid. Is that not enough? What can you possibly know about that? You'd be surprised. He's told me a great deal about you. For example? Like I'm just curious. He said you shed Lara's features. I don't see whatever it is he sees. It seems a bit like trying to drink water from a mud puddle. Oh. But I imagine that belief somehow helps him with his task. What task? Do you think he trails you everywhere for pleasure? Even I grow ill at the sight of you. It's incredible how those like you still believe you're superior to humans, in any way. She's no human. She's a degenerate half-breed. To have no choice but to use something like that? 
It's humiliating. Another word, and I'll... What? You'll change nothing. She must do what she must. Then Avalach will finally be free of her. Okay, so no Sarah clone. Just an angry mistress. If he hates me so deeply, why didn't he tell me to my face? You don't say that to someone. I hate you, like. Even if you hate someone, you just keep it in and resent them for years to come and then backstab them. Ah! I don't know. I'm not very good with hate. I just hate anyone, really. I try to forgive everyone once after a while. You're that important to you didn't actually believe her, did you? Uh, I haven't feel like he ha hate her. I mean, I feel like he has some hidden agenda also, but he also have started thinking her like something that like, I need to care for you. He have put forth a lot of his emotion for this Lara, the original one that he knew. He has put into her like, oh, you're her almost. I feel for you because of that. So yeah, you didn't actually believe her, did you? Did you? Siri, you didn't actually believe her, did you? She's, uh, personally involved in the matter, that's clear. What of it? If they despise me so, they should leave me be. Don't look at me like I said the wrong thing. The other one would probably have ended the same way, if not worse. Damn you, Yennefer, blaming Siri. me for everything. What? Do you fear I'll level this place like I did Care Morn? Shame I can't do that at will because I'd really like to now. Oh. Calm down. Calm down. The elf was right. <sighs> what? Aren't you supposed to cheer me up? What do you mean he carry was Laura's right? Gene. Nothing you can do about it. Inherited her talent and her power too. That she elf would give up a century of her life to be you. Certainly didn't seem so. You were born with a great gift, and only you can decide how to use it. Oh, what a nice necklace. Necklace. What's that? A necklace. Laura Doran's. It's beautiful. But yours to wear. So now we're stealing from him too. too. Don't you know that we have been here? I mean, if he comes over here and talk with elves, he knows too, but... Let's go. Yeah. I'm sick of this place. Can I loot it first, please? Need to hurry outside the board, or... Yeah, sure thing. But... Not that damn flame! No, let's see. Can I go back here again? I thought I saw some loot. No? Nothing... He's... A bot. Where she went? Enough. Ooh, a book. Tales and legends about you. <laughs> I mean, it's very clear that an elf, that something elves would have, but still at the same time, like, you think, yeah, it's the human that makes the books with legends and tales, and they're like, no, we are the legends and tales for them. Did you know? A human only lives to be around a hundred. And then they die. Isn't it amazing? Such a short-lived creatures, aren't they? And otherwise they almost look like us. But they have a round ear instead of pointy. Aren't they freakishly? Yeah, really freakish. Do I have to fight you now? No? Okay. Wonder what happened with that elf. Did she teleport also? Can she do that? I would doubt that, but still. Hi, Siri. Can we go to Philippa now? Can you teleport me, please? Must we return to the boat right away? Something oh. else you want to see? Not the here. sandstone? On Hindisfjall, in Lofoten, I met a young man, Skjall, and I'd like... Oh, he's dead. We necromanced him what even. What is it, Siri? Skjall is dead. The wild hunt. Everyone? No one survived? He survived! Skjall died later. You're sure it was him? You'd met him? I was there. I saw his body. Will you visit his grave with me? 
I'd like to... to say goodbye. Yeah, I'll go with you. Why is it time I'll for that to decide? Thank you. Could you open a portal to Hindusfjall? I can. Let's go, Siri. Let's do this. I don't want to come soon. Right. Mm -hmm. See you. See you. Yeah, finally we're rid of that bitch, Siri. Now it's just you and me. Some further off the time at the grave. Let's look around. Should be a relatively fresh grave mound. Thank you for coming. I detest graveyards. Especially wandering them alone. What? I'm thinking here, would someone actually go to that place though where he died to get his corpse? I mean, did we free it or something like that? I try to remember, I'm not sure. But if not, would I really come there, risk their life to get the corpse and then go back? I yeah, I don't like graveyards either, but let's look together. Let's look around together. It's you together. and me Come on. together. Lasse, son of Njord. Olaf, son of Ova. Didn't he get a new name Inga, when he was... Shame. Damn it. He's not here. Skjall has no grave. Geralt, I shan't leave until I bury him. Think, the body. What could have become of it? They didn't burn it. Save that honor for kings and heroes. Doubt they left him in the garden, too. Hmm. Uh, bastards. What? Beyond the village, there's a pit. They fill it with sheep taken by Blackleg. Crabs pick at their bones at night. Oh, that's horrible. I mean, he died a coward death. Or, no, he... He ran there because with her and I, I don't remember exactly it's hard to explain you should have watched all the other videos no oh, sorry But you didn't feel that much for him, right? Because in the bat you mentioned you only liked women. I remember that part. What are you doing? What you should have done long ago. We're burying Skial. Burying Craven? You defy the right of the elders. Be gone. Leave this place. You defy our laws. Quiet down. Lower your voice before we need another grave. How can you defend him? Craven's place is in the ditch. <laughs> Skjall saved your bloody lives. The wild hunt was after me. Had Skjall not led me away then, why they would have reduced Lofferton to ash? What would the spectres be wanting of some lass who... I am not some lass. And anyone who so much as touches this grave will learn that the hard way. Aye. None will disturb it. Desecrating graves... Well, it's the only thing elders punish harder than fleeing the battlefield. And what you said. Can't know the truth of it. The gods will judge Skjall now. We were right to come. I was deeply troubled. No idea. Well, they shouldn't spit on his name anymore. Hopefully so. Let's go. By the way, it, in that fight, didn't all the men die or something because they were fight trying to fight the wild hunt? And if they didn't, they become craven. Yeah, you're the only one. Otherwise, it was only the women and old. And he didn't look that old. Got something to tend to. No, together! Back to the boat. Mm. So if we all come together. Hopefully this silent wasn't closer to Philippa. That would have been something. Yeah! It was right next to there actually, where you need to go. Wait, did it say Skjall's grave? Or was that quest completed maybe? Oh, 
Yeah, sneak onto the Empress flagship under the cover of darkness. But that happen in the next episode. Probably not though, because we probably follow after Philippa there and actually get the Sunstone now. Which I thought we were going to do in this episode, but I guess that happened next time. Hopefully though you didn't like this episode of Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt, and if so then please leave a like, it shows support, helps me and I feel so happy when you do it. And if you don't want to miss the next video of The Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt, then subscribe, you'll never miss another video that way. And otherwise, until next time, uh, goodbye, and thanks for watching! Like Bye Siri. You just left me here. Hmm.